Ladies and Gentlemen, the new French President Emmanuel Macron wants to give a fresh push to Europe's monetary union by setting up a common budget. But he mainly wants it to finance policies that are already being dealt with elsewhere. For example, the EU zone already has a rescue fund, the ESM, to support countries in financial distress. The European Union already spends massive sums on public investment projects. And the job providing a fiscal stimulus for the economy rests with individual national capitals. The only new element in Macron's proposals is that he would create the job of a finance minister and set up a parliament for the Eurozone. But like all central institutions, these will tend to grow faster than lower level national institutions. Macron proposals are a Trojan horse. He promises a more stable monetary union, but would ultimately deliver further centralization. The view is, let Brussels decide, not the national governments. But more and more people are opposed to centralization in Europe. It would increase popular discontent and lead to a less stable monetary union. Despite this, German Chancellor Angela Merkel will make an effort to accommodate Macron. One reason is that she doesn't want to yield this territory to the Social Democrats, her opponent in the German election campaign. Merkel is even now talking about a European Union treaty change. Some of Macron's ideas are likely to become reality. But the job of economic backstop in the Eurozone will continue to fall to the European Central Bank for some time to come. Thank you very much for your attention. For more details, please turn to the Week in Focus.